money, I'm revving. Great, just protecting my investment. Escobar, me integrity's not a question. B2 Fighting Series fans, this amateur light heavyweight battle is set for three rounds at three minutes apiece. First, hiding out of the blue corner. His record stands at three wins and five losses. His height, six feet, one inch. His weight, 203 pounds. He trains with Team Ten Bears War Squad and comes to you from right here in Dayton, Ohio. This is Rob K.O. Grigsby. And his opponent, out of the game, Haven Red Corner. His record stands at two wins and one loss. His height, six feet. His weight, 203 pounds. He trains with Drive Mar Mixed Martial Arts and comes to you from Cincinnati, Ohio. This is Taylor Monstrosity Meister. Rob K.O. Grigsby in the leopard print. Kill Crew Muay Thai trunks. Taylor the Monstrosity Meister in the pink shorts. Third man in the cage. Referee, Rob, excuse me, Gary Copeland. Right away, Taylor Meister running forwards. Rob K.O. Grigsby oh, ripping uppercuts, one, moving back. Good kick. Big body oh, kick nice lands. Rob Grigsby starting to push forwards now. Throwing a big one, oh, too. Oh, good uppercut by Grigsby Rob lands Grigsby. a big shot. Boom. Meister oh, lands a good check hook, and Grigsby lands big shots. Both guys having success in this early moments of this round. Grigsby working the body. High elbow guard for Rob Grigsby. Right hand gets through. Rob's got to be careful keeping that chin up. He's got to be careful. Meister's Taylor's got a lot of, lot of power in them punches. Oh, good overhand right. Right hand lands. Meister lands a check left hook. Good jab by Rob. Good jab by Taylor. And now Meister says it's my turn. Good body kicks by Meister. Good combinations. And Good Grigsby uppercut. with the right hand over the top and the uppercut behind it. Here we go again, tit for tat, like I talked about. This could be fight of the night right here. These guys are, oh, good catch. And Grigsby catches the good kick. Good job, Grigsby. And Grigsby told us, he said, all these guys want to wrestle me. I can wrestle now. So Taylor's looking for this Kimura right here. And what he's going to do, he's not looking to finish it. He's going to look to turn into it and to get Rob off his back. Which is smart. He's holding, he's neutralizing Rob right here. He's not in a good situation. And you, you see Meister thought about trying to get his left arm high and up over. That would have been a mistake, and he recognized while he was doing it, no, I don't want to do that. Because he would have went for a run. Yes. Ooh. And Meister sneaks in a, a hammer fist to the thigh. Rob K.O. Grigsby with a big lift, good balance from Taylor Meister. There's that trip there. If Rob could elevate him and hit that trip, but Taylor's doing a really good job. He's got great takedown defense. And if you're Taylor Meister, you have to find a way to get your left elbow between the two of you. Yeah, or, you're, or you're right. I mean, you right. You have to get an elbow between the two of you. You can't reach up and over. And he's, try, he's trying to get yeah. that Kimura. He, Meister's he's really improving that Kimura lock now. But Grigsby, he's got a hook, and he's controlling the left hand now. Yep. There's a lot of ties going on right now in this position. So many things going on. I mean, just look, right hook. I mean, hand control for both guys. Hand control for both guys, but it's really smart by Taylor, man. He's really neutralizing yes. Rob right now. Because if 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 Grigsby were free and he had control of his hands, Meister could have already gone for a ride. But instead, it's been a minute and a half of of Grigsby holding onto his back and not really being able to do much with it. Right, and I'm going to tell you, a lot of times in this situation, it's more tiring for, for like a guy like Rob in that situation than it is Taylor. He... Taylor's just hanging on. He, he's got that Kimura lock. He's trying to get it. G Grisby is trying to lift him up. He's using energy, trying to lift him up and everything else. No big hands. Big right hands. Big big hooks. Left, right, left, right for Rob Grisby. Didn't land. Great round. Great round. What a hell of a round. You said this one could be fight of the night. It's on pace to be just that. Rob Grisby looks like a man possessed, and Taylor Munch was no pushover. No, no pushover at all. And look, I mean, these are big boys. Yes. Here's the replay right here. Good jab by Rod Grisby. Nice right overhand hand. right. Mm. That was that one overhand right. I'm sorry, that was a nice cross. Good body kick. Rod Grisby catches the kick. 
Tries to get the sweep right there and goes to the body lock. And that's where we ended up in the round, right there in that, in that clinch position. But like I said, Taylor did a really good job trying to get that Kimura lock right there. And he neutralized Rob. Rob had the position. He was in the back. He had the hips. He had the back side of the hips. Great job by Taylor. Man, can these guys keep up this pace for two more rounds? I I mean, I would I would tend to think with the new Rob Grigsby that we see, maybe. Maybe he can. He's jumping over there in the corner. Taylor don't look tired. They're not breathing hard. They're yes. ready to go. These are warriors, man. These guys are ready to go. They, I mean, absolutely. I believe they will do that for two more rounds, for, for six more minutes if they need to. And Meister's up. He's walking, hands up in the air. He says, what's up? You see Elijah Woodruff over there in the B2 Digital Blue Corner walking out of here with a victory tonight. He's hoping that his boy Rob K.O. Grigsby can do the same. Taylor Meister says, I'm here to play spoiler. But is it really spoiler? That's the thing. I, I think these guys are evenly matched. I don't think one's better than the other. Oh, nice leg kick. And left hand to the body. The right hand over top as well for Meister. Needed Rob body didn't for like Grigsby. that either. Good nice frame knee. right here for Rob Grigsby and a high knee to the thigh for Meister. Good yeah. head pressure as Scott Wegman's calling for it. Great head pressure. Grisby's living by that overhook. I would pummel back into the underhook on the on the left side. I would pummel yes. into the over, underhook on the left side and try to jack that thing up and, and get and get Taylor back off up against the up against the panel. What he tried to do, he tried to separate. There's a knee right there. Nice knee. Oh, Ooh, big right uppercut with a left hook behind it. That, they hit Taylor in the eye right there. He's, that hurt his eye a little bit. Rob's seeing things, man. He's seeing. Yes, it's, he is. it's really slowed down. Oh, moves his nice head off counter. center with a right hand down the pipe. Two to the body, three up top. Head kick attempt. You're not allowed to do that in Ohio amateurs, but Meister tried it anyways. He tried it. <laughs> and Rob Kale Griggs with a left hook behind it. That body shot earlier in the round that Tyler landed, there's a huge mark on Grisby's right side. Yes. But he ate it like a champ. And these high knees. You see Taylor Meister, he's bringing that knee up as high as he can and just driving it down on top of the thigh of Rob K.O. Grigsby. It's so miserable. I mean, that thing is like a missile coming from the sky. It is. And I'm going to tell you, I don't like that overhook on that right side that Grisby's got. I would go no. back for the underhook. I mean, he's framing very well with the left hand. He's framing very well with the left forearm. Yes. But I don't like that overhook right there. I feel like it stationary as you, right? You, you live I, and die by you, underhooks. You do. You live and die opinion. by underhooks, exactly. Good knee by Taylor. And if you're Meister, you're, I mean, I can sit here for 55 more seconds and hold you and just throw knees. Rob K.O. Grigsby has to find a way to get his back off the cage. He does. And really, man, Meister's winning this round Agreed. right here. He, he's controlling the fight. Cage control. And he's doing enough to merit Gary Copeland not pulling them off the cage. Yeah, he's staying busy. Them little rabbit punches and them knees. Gary Copeland ain't going to separate you. Nope. No, he's not. Oh, as I say that, yeah, Gary Copeland that. separates them. Well, what the hell do we know? Hey, man, there was a lull in the action for about a second or so. Yeah, double jab from Rob Grigsby. I think Gary just wants to see these guys stand and bang it. So yeah, another oh, big, big shot shot lands, big Meister. shots. Grigsby moves his head off center. A good roll. Somebody's bleeding. Rob Grigsby's bleeding. It looks like a cut was, over the right eyebrow, I think. I, I, I couldn't tell if it was his nose or a right eyebrow. Looks like the, the blood left. is pouring down onto his nose. Solid second round there for Taylor Meister. Yeah, it's cut on the right eye. You're exactly right. Right on the eyelid. Really good round right there for Taylor Meister. But the first round, who knows who it was. Look at that left hand right there. Beautiful check left hook. Another one straight down the pipe with the right hand. Nice body kick. Rob lands it. And Grigsby's just running forwards. Oh, nice two right there by Meister. Grigsby rolls under the hook right there, Meister. I'm going to tell you, man, I'm, I'm impressed with Grigsby's boxing, his, his, his head movement. He's rolling. He's, he's taking his head off the center line, off the table. He's check hooking, check cross. He's looking good. But at the same time, man, Meister's looking tough, too. 
man, what a fight. Great fight. You said this one might be fight of the night. You're usually not wrong. And I'm going to tell you, when the matchmaker told me he matched this fight, I said this could be fight of the night a month and a half ago. Third round. This is still anybody's fight. The doctor's over there taking a look at Rob K.O. Grigsby. See, a lot of times it doesn't have to be a bad cut, but if it's in a right. bad place, they will stop the fight. Well, people don't realize there's nerves all through that eye and side uh -huh. of the eye, and if that cuts on that any of that nerve or anything like that, they'll stop the fight. They're going to let this thing continue. Third and final round, Gary Coleman was like, what the hell, man? I said, get out of here. There's something <laughs> on the on the canvas right there. They need to get it off. There is something on the canvas right there, right in front of Nice, nice right leg kick. Oh, they're changing leg kicks. These guys are dogs, man. They're going at it. Very technical fight, actually. Oh, nice left hook. Yeah, like a switch oh, right nice there. Oh, overhand right. Man, they're tit for tat. Nobody wants to give up an inch. This is a very technical fight. I mean, yes, they're throwing, but at the same time, man, there's good head movements, good checks, good counters. Rob's got to keep his hands up. There's Rob with the body hook. He's good position on, on Meister right now. He's, he's on the back side of Meister. Meister's going for that Kimura lock again. He did in the first round, and it really neutralized Grisby. Taylor's got to turn in really fast to Rob Grisby. That's exactly what his corner's trying to tell him to do. Man, what a war, Andy. Grisby needs to try to get that body lock and suck them hips out and get it to the ground. Nice knee by Meister. And Meister using his right hand to push the head of Grisby up into the air, which opens up the body. And you see Meister. Rob's got the body lock. Good job controlling the hands and then Rob let right go of the body. Oh, here we knees. go. Grisby does look a little tired. Uh, Taylor does look a lot more the fresher fighter. Oh, yeah, nice right hand. Grisby's walking forward. Yep. Blood in the eye. He doesn't care. Fainting the right hand. And you know he still has the power to finish this fight at any moment. Both of these guys do. They're big boys, man. That's what I'm saying. Rob's got to get his hands up. Both of these guys got to get their hands up. And the mouth of mine are starting to climb open. And what but happens with that? It's been a war. And you, what happens is that you get touched on that jaw and you go out. That's it. Grigsby do, oh, doing a good job nice. moving his head off center. Right hand over the top. Man, I'm going to tell you, when he moves his head off center and that right cross comes down the pipe. It's that's fast a, it's, and, and it's hard. And it's a beautiful thing. See Meister maybe trying to secure a takedown here, put an exclamation point on this round, and we see more of those same high knees. Grisby had him in the same situation for about 45 seconds. They're going tit for tat, man. This this round right here is it's definitely close. But Grisby's got to turn into him, man. He's got to turn into him, and he can't just stay here. Oh, he's trying for the trip. Good job, and he separated. Now Taylor's got the body lock. It looks like I can't tell on that on the right side. Yeah, Taylor does have the body lock. I tell you what, man, Rob Grigsby's not going to be able to walk on that right leg for a couple days. Oh, no. It's brutalized. He's got to pummel on that right side and get that underhook, man. He's living by that overhook, and I just do not like that. I feel like it, it keeps him stationary. There he goes. Good job. Oh, but good job by Meister. Meister's on the back now trying to finish this fight oh, with an exclamation. One last oh, takedown great as we fight. expose the shorts of Rob K.O. Grigsby. Hell of a fight. Fight of the night contender for an absolute fact. The blood pouring into the eyes of Rob Grigsby. Taylor Meister says, I got that. Rob Grigsby throws his hands up. Only our second judge's decision of the evening, Andy. Man, I knew, to be honest, I, I knew these guys could knock out anybody if they touch you, but I knew how, how tough these guys are, and I figured it was going to be a knockout, drag out fight to a decision. That's exactly what it is. And as a fan, I appreciate that from both guys. Absolutely. And it's such a beautiful thing. These guys went in here and went to war and laid their bodies on the line for our enjoyment. For that. These guys are amateurs. They ain't getting paid nothing. They did this for no other reason than their enjoyment and ours. Yeah, man, and besides some strikes where they were really rapid fire and repetitive, overall it was a very technical stand-up fight. Agreed. I thought there was a lot of technical things going on up against the cage. Uh, There's a lot of good underhooks. There was a few things, and I think when Grisby goes back and watches this, 
he will see that, hey, man, you can't live by that overhook. He should have pummeled in a little more, but he'll learn, and he's trusting the process. These guys again. Fist bump in here. It's all love between the two fighters as well as the two camps. You see Scott Wegman over there cutting it up with the head coach of the Ten Bears. And we await our judge's decision. This was a close one. I don't blame him on this one no matter which way it goes. And we always say, Andy, I'm thankful I don't have to judge these fights. Hey, man, you're right. And I'll tell you, usually when it takes this long, we already know split decision. I can see it being a split decision. Man, I'm so glad I don't have to judge this fight. So glad. We have the best jobs in the building. Yes, we do. Without a doubt, getting paid to sit front and center and watch these guys put on a show. What a life this is. You see Scott Wegman coaching up his guy still, even after the fight. And Elijah Woodruff makes his way onto the scene. How about that? Elijah Woodruff goes and fights a hard fight, takes his gloves off and turn around and corners his friend two fights later. One of the beautiful things about local MMA, again, you usually don't see that up in the bigger shows you have seen the Bellator. You're not going to see a guy fight, take his gloves off, and then go corner in the same night. Exactly. I mean, I was saying in the third, at, at the, about 30 seconds left, I thought Rob might have been fading a little bit, but man, he's not breathing hard. I, I think he was just well, and the, the defending. Knees, I don't the, think he yes. had you the know. knees for Meister. They yeah. wear your legs down. I mean, you, your lungs can be good, but your body's brutalized. Exactly, that could be the case for Grigsby. But nonetheless, here goes case announcer Lance Green. B2 Fighting Series fans, after three grueling rounds. This decision has gone to your judges. Your judges have scored this first 29, 28 for Meister. Your second judge has judged it 29, 28 for Grigsby. Your final judge has scored this bout 30 to 27 for your winner by split decision out of the blue corner, Rob K.O. Grigsby. Man, and, look. And, and you know what I'm going to say? Go Let ahead. That's why you don't leave it in the judge's hands. All the way up with the same ones that was down from the jump. They were the same ones. Been around when the ain't funds. Even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break one. <laughs>